That wasn't supposed to happen. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Forgotten Weapons. Today we're out here with a, a real iconic piece of rifle history. And uh, what's cool is these aren't all that well known today, but they're actually fairly easy to get your hands on. This is an 1886 LaBelle rifle. It is French, of course. And what makes this really cool is that this was the first small bore smokeless powder rifle adopted by a major military. So prior to this rifle, everyone was using black powder or, you know, 10, 11, 12 millimeter cartridges. And so, as we see quite a lot of, although people don't necessarily realize it, the French really led the way in arms development with this LaBelle rifle. A uh, couple other interesting features of the gun. Um, it has an eight round magazine in it, which is rather unusual for something this old. Uh, the magazine, and this is a feature that wasn't copied by anyone else. In fact, the French kind of abandoned it as well. It's a tube magazine down here under the barrel. Holds eight rounds. Now, you might be wondering, how do you do a tube magazine with a pointy cartridge like the 8mm LaBelle? Uh, this seems like it's a recipe for slam fires and, you know, that pointy tip goes into that primer and bad things happen. Well, there are two reasons that that wasn't an issue with the LaBelle. The first is that the extreme taper of this cartridge means that when it's sitting flat, the bullet is actually pointing down at the base of the next cartridge. It's not, uh, not lifted up towards the primer. The second, if we zoom in here on the, uh, the back of the case, you can see that there's a little ring formed into the case. That is there to catch the tip of the next bullet should it jump up so that it, it gets caught in there and it doesn't hit the primer. So a little bit of clever design, and that's why you see this odd extra ring in the LaBelle cartridge. Now, other than that, this was a fairly typical bolt-action rifle. Uh, they had, there were bolt-actions before. Um, as I said, they were generally larger caliber and black powder rounds. Um, this is fairly similar to the, the French Grasse and Chasse rifles. One of the really terrible <laughs> design aspects of it is you actually have to take this screw out and manually remove the bolt head in order to take the bolt out of the rifle. So that's a bit of a time-consuming process. And, the Mauser system and the Mannlicher system and pretty much all the other bolt-action rifle systems handled disassembly far better than the LaBelle. Anyway, um, these were first manufactured in 1886. There was a revision to them in 1893 and pretty much every single LaBelle in existence was retrofitted. It's very rare to find a, an original 1886 model LaBelle. Um, and the, the 93 upgrades were pretty simple stuff. Um, they improved the mounting of the rear sight onto the barrel and a couple other little minor things, nothing significant. Now I've got this tube magazine loaded all the way up, and I was expecting that to make the rifle fairly muzzle heavy, but it's actually not that bad. A little heavy, not, not too much of a problem. We have a cartridge lifter right here. You can see when I pop the bolt back, this elevator lifts up. When I push the bolt forward, it drops the elevator down and releases a cartridge onto it. You can see there's the cartridge right there. And you have to give the bolt a bit of a snap back to, to lift the elevator, and then it loads the next cartridge. Now, one thing to be aware of on this system, there's not a whole lot holding that cartridge in place. So if I'm not careful, it's real easy to uh, have that round just fall out. All right, well, I'm gonna put some ears on and see how she shoots. So recoil here is fairly mild. Part of that is, of course, it's cold and I have a heavy coat on. Uh, part of it is also that this is a full-size rifle. It's fairly long, and reasonably heavy. This isn't a little carbine. And uh, eight millimeter LaBelle is a full-size cartridge, but it's by no means a magnum round. So 
not a bad shooting rifle. Now, one other feature common of rifles to this era is a magazine cutoff. The idea was uh, you would have the troops load the magazine of the rifle up to full capacity, and then you want to hold that in reserve. And while they're you know, early in the battle, while the other enemy troops are a long distance away or something like that, uh, you have the troops single load. So then if there's an emergency, if they have enemy close in, then they can open up the magazine and then they have rapid fire. So on this, when I flip this forward, you can see this little guy drops down, so the bolt will no longer activate this elevator. The elevator stays up, and I can simply single load rounds. Now, oh shit, here come the Germans. We'll open up the magazine. And now we can fire rapidly until the magazine is empty. Now the eight round magazine is, is nice. That, that larger capacity is cool, above the standard five rounds of the era. However, I've discovered this is about the slowest loading magazine that I've ever run into on a bolt action. Uh, in order to load this thing, you can see the base of the magazine tube down here, the follower, push around in. and so on, up to eight rounds. Then you have to snap the bolt back. That lifts the elevator. When we push it forward, now it's allowed a cartridge out of the magazine onto the elevator. And now it's loaded. So there you go, guys. 1886 French Lebel rifle. Uh, really a milestone in small arms technology. And we have the French to thank for it. So this rifle served all the way through World War I. Um, it was uh, the main standard issue rifle in World War I. It also served uh, between the wars and was used into World War II as a kind of a reserve backup rifle for troops that didn't need the, the latest and greatest. Very cool rifle. I hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching.